Welcome back to another episode, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I wanna to share something that's been catching my eye lately. In this video, we're exploring a unique and innovative technique that's not only transforming the look of homes and businesses, but is also boosting their curb appeal just in time for the spring selling season. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about painting brick, but not in the way you're accustomed to. We're not talking about just slapping a coat of paint on the brick and calling it a day. No, 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 no. This technique is about painting brick to look like unpainted brick. Stick with me, folks. This is really interesting. I think this episode is gonna offer a lot of value to people in the Ottawa area. Let's go. All right, welcome back. I just put out a blog on my website a couple of days ago in prepping for the spring selling season and it is my goal in the next few weeks to bring on a couple of guests to help you through a couple of the key components that really might help you from the outside and the inside of your home as we march through the spring. So painters are like realtors in the sense that everyone knows about five painters, just like everyone knows about five realtors. And the goal in this video is to offer you something you probably haven't seen commercially on the market before. Today, we're talking about beautifying our home or our office on the outside and painting the brick so that it looks like unpainted brick. This approach is all about adding character and depth to properties, making them stand out in a sea of sameness. Whether it's a home or a business, this method is turning heads and creating a buzz, proving that sometimes the best way to stand out is by blending in, but with style. So if you're curious about how this works and why it's becoming a game changer for property aesthetics and market appeal, you're obviously in the right place. So let's dive in and uncover the magic behind painting brick to look like it's natural, untouched self, and why it might just be the secret ingredient your property needs this spring. We're talking to Matt Woodworth, the CEO of The Brick Painters. All right, welcome back everybody. With me today is a lifelong friend of mine, Matt Woodworth. We're talking about beautifying the outdoor of your home as we're entering into the spring market. Matt, why don't you tell the audience what you're doing, which company you're with, why people should care. Hi, I'm Matt Woodworth. People call me Woody. I'm the CEO and president of the Brick Painters Limited. What we do is we essentially help homeowners as well as storefronts, shop owners, industrial owners uh, refinish and retransform their painted brick exteriors that have been painted with a solid color to look as though they haven't been painted. So said another way, what we do is we'll take a solid brick wall and we'll apply our faux finish technique on each individual brick as well as all of the mortar as well to make it look like it's true, authentic, warm, charming brick facade that the way that originally was and still should be. So from a distance, you're looking at this, this is a painted brick facade yep. that you're repainting on top of a previously painted brick. That is correct. Uh, living in downtown Ottawa, it's an older city and throughout decades people will paint their brick I'm thinking more on the commercial side. Lots of residential houses have been painted solid brick colors as well. We all know painters and I'm not discounting outdoor painting but really what we're saying is people get into the habit of painting their wall one solid color to sort of clean it up or spruce it up over time. What you're doing is you're taking that painted brick and you're repainting it brick by brick. Correct. To make it look like it is original brick. Now, my question is this brick, how do you do it so that the brick look different? Like not every brick is obviously painted the same. Correct. So even when bricks come out of the, the oven as well, depending on how long they've been in there, what's been facing the flame, that's where you get your different hues, right? Your blacks yeah. and your grays and so forth. Yeah. So no individual brick, regardless of where it comes from, is unique in its exact color. But what we do is we actually match it or we blend it to look like the brick that was either underneath or something that is around your building as well that would represent what the true historic look of that particular brick facade would have been. So we apply several different colors, blacks, reds, 
or whatever it happens to be if you're looking for something more along the line of a beige or a sandy color we actually do that by applying a number of different applications to it as we go through it to make it look exactly the way that you want it to look said another way the way that it would have looked long ago before that first coat of paint was put on it and that comes down to accents that are lost over time so masonry yeah. accents that you will no longer see in a building we can extract those as well to look like they would have looked originally when they were built back in the 1900s, the 1800s, or however far back we go with historic buildings, for example. So just walk me through this. Yeah. You're looking at the brick wall, you're adjusting in real time, you're, you're basically artist to a certain extent, and you're, you're sort of improvising as you're going through, slightly more hues one way or another, you're changing the Pantone colors, like what are you doing? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, so really what we do before we just go and start resurfacing or applying our finish on an entire area of wall as an example or an entire building we we'll usually start with something that is meant like a three by three frame on the building somewhere discreet where we can work with the property owner or the homeowner yeah. to show them exactly what it is that we think would be a good starting point for them and they provide feedback they provide insight as to we'd like to see a little bit more black here so it's very highly customizable to what their requirements are now once we've got that one uh, sample panel on their wall, we use that as the baseline for everything else. So it's always a reference point that the owner has bought off on and agreed to and wants that we always reference back to. So that's the one, that's our North Star, if you will, in terms of making sure we achieve that end result that they want. Yeah, that's, uh, that's very cool. Now, is anybody else doing anything like this? Short answer is no. So we're <laughs> very proud to say that uh, at the Brick Painters, we actually founded the industry. So we didn't found painting solid paint onto brick walls. That's something that people have been doing for as long as paint and brick have existed. But what we've found it is the way to actually bring out and bring back that natural, authentic, historic brick look where no two bricks are identical and where if you walk by it, you'd never suspect that it was a painted brick building or, or home. So that's cool. So, and you've done projects. So you're based in Ottawa, um, but you have projects everywhere. You're in the Canada, do. you're in the US. Like. Talk a little bit about your organization. Right, so we've got uh, literally hundreds of projects and we've been doing this officially under the Brick Painter's name since 2003. But we've got work that we've done uh, in the southern United States. We've done work all over Canada and we've worked on commercial properties like storefronts, for example, as well as homes. And yeah. really it comes down to where the requirement is. So if you look at essentially Main Street anywhere, downtown, there's always a business improvement association looking to regentrify and breathe new life and vitality into these business communities. And a lot of times, more often than not, there will be uh, painted brick buildings littered throughout that Main Street. And the one challenge that they all have as owners is what do I do with this painted brick? How do I make it look natural again? And there are a couple of options. So one of those options is to sandblast it. Uh, another one of the options is to actually chemically strip it. Uh, both of those options can be very expensive, damaging to the environment, and you still don't know what is underneath that painted brick to begin with. Like, why was it painted? And that's, yeah. a, that's a big expense to undergo to realize that now I understand why this was painted back in 1972 because it, it's completely mis, mismatched. So we take all of that mystification, all that guesswork out of it. We provide an unbelievable end product in terms of a look without all the cost and the aggravation without having to sandblast or chemically strip your building. I'm seeing right now like use cases everywhere and okay. in my mind I'm thinking like investors for example uh, who are buying property and you want to increase the value of your property. We have homeowners who are looking to transform the the look of their painted brick buildings because they want to sell it. That's one of the the, the, the reasons why we attract yeah. a lot of homeowners. Another one is they simply they, they've decided this is their forever home and they would like to change the look out of, of it and they want it to look like it originally did and that's why they would call us as well. Many of the other benefits too, if, they, if they're going to be putting their home up for sale as an example, oftentimes these, these buildings with painted brick lack curb appeal. And so you know being a realtor in this marketplace or anywhere really that curb appeal is huge, right? Yeah. So we change the, the entire look of these buildings and we enhance the curb appeal, I would call it exponentially. Yeah. So you get a lot more attention when we're there doing our work. We have neighbors, we have people that come by and watch us perform our work and ask if we can come do their homes as well because seeing yeah. is believing. So that's that's one of the, the big things is changing the curb appeal. The other one is being able to sell your property faster because it looks better, attract better, better quality people to view it. And on the, the commercial side, 
you're going to be attracting uh, better qualified tenants who are going to pay more for a better building and they're going to lease for longer and you're yeah. going to get better names and so that's the benefit for the commercial side as well. And as you know, uh, we have property in uh, the Beechwood area yeah. um, and that I'm just using that as an example because Beechwood is an older area so to bring that back to life so to speak, I can see this happening on Beechwood Avenue which is sort of the high street uh, that puts all the businesses in place but from a residential perspective, yeah, you want to bring everything back. You want to make it look like it once did. So question for you, um, once it's painted, so you guys come through, you guys do your work, like, is there a guarantee? How long does it last? What What's the expectation for the audience? You got to come back in 10 years, 15 years? Does it fade? Talk to us a little bit about that. Okay, and that's a great question. That's probably one of the first questions that our actual customers ask us. And they, we've had customers now for a number of years who've not come back for any type of maintenance whatsoever. So the longevity, is we have a 10-year warranty right out of the box for the 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 products, the paints, the 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 pigments that we use, and so forth as well. Um, and there's also some things, some things, some factors to consider when you're actually doing this as well. So we like to make sure that we're setting our customers up for success right from the get-go. And one of the big things that causes paint, painted brick to flake and peel over time is because some of the infrastructure on the building isn't up to par. So as an example, one would be like downspouts and eavesdrops. If you get a lot of water running by it, that's not a fault of the actual paint. It's a deficiency in how the building's able to extract water and push it away from it. So we provide consulting and, and some advisory services around how to make sure that you can maximize the life of your paint. Uh, another scenario is from time to time you will get flaking and when you have a solid colored brick wall and you have flaking that takes place, it's pretty simple to grab the old can of paint that you had, let's call it white, and roll some white on. The challenge with that is now you've got an entire wall that yeah. looks okay with a patch <laughs> of yeah. really bright white and you cannot blend that in easily. So it, it's basically, you know, it keeps reinventing itself because you're going to have these things to deal with over time. With our system, we can, if, if some maintenance is required, we come back and do two or three little bricks that have had that water damage and they blend in perfectly with the wall and there's nothing standing out like a sore, th a sore thumb on that wall as well. Yeah. So the longevity of it is a long, long time. <laughs> yeah, so a 10 year warranty. Now are you, uh, is there anything in the paint that is giving you that 10 year warranty that, like, that you can explain to people? Like, what is it that gives you that 10 year warranty? Uh, it's essentially the manufacturer's warranty for the paints that we use. So we, we can use any type of masonry paint and that's, that's the baseline of everything that we do. Yeah. And it's also the same paint that people that do the solid colors use. Right? So there's, there's no distinction between the actual product that we use. The distinction is how it's applied, which we talked about, a number of different touch points on the brick so that no two of them are unique. We deal with the mortar as well, so you maintain that original look. So uh, it's a manufacturer's uh, masonry paint warranty. We're coming on the channel today. Spring is here. We're just the beginning of March at time of recording. It's gonna very quickly roll into April and in May. Like, how do people get in touch with you? What can they expect from a lead time perspective? Is there a queue, so to speak? What's the average turnaround time? Give us a little bit in terms of what they can expect. Okay, in terms of setting expectations, um, this is effectively where the snowball begins to roll downhill for us and any other seasonal um, service provider, right? So that, that's a staple. Uh, we're filling up quickly. A lot of our spots are already being taken up, but one of the ways that we encourage customers to get in touch with us and understand how the process works is we have a visualization tool. So if you go onto our website, uh, www.thebrickpainters.com, you'll see that there's a visualization tool where you can actually upload photos of your home or your storefront or whatever building that has painted brick on it. What we will do is we will assign this to one of our our expert analysts that can provide a really comprehensive view of what the building could look like after cool. with all this transformation having taken place right down to the accent work right down to a number of other things that would probably not register with someone who just wants to have their house repainted we can really take it from ordinary to absolutely extraordinary and that's where our years of expertise our years of experience and working in this industry can really you know, consult and help you draw out the maximum value and curb appeal of the job that you're looking at. Okay, so, so thebrickpainters.com. From a residential perspective, so again, we can 
we can talk to other painters. We have, by the way, a number of referrals if you're doing interior paint or project type work and all this kind of stuff. This is clearly a little bit more of a specialty type job. It's brick to brick, so obviously this particular video is catering to that specialty work. Last question, and I don't want to put you on the spot, and I know all jobs are different, but from a residential customer perspective, what is the typical cost? Can you give us a range? Is there something that you can say that like on average, uh, you know, a wall that's 30 by 30, for example, like what's, what, what can they expect? Okay, that, that's a great question. So I think probably the the best way to answer that would be we range from six to eight dollars per square foot. So that on average is roughly, let's call it maybe 30% more than what it would cost you to hire a brick painter to come and just roll it on. The value there is incredible. So you get a home that you can go back in time and actually bring out that natural authentic brick look for 30% more than someone that would come and either spray it on directly, not worry about the mortar or roll on something Thing directly as well. That's kind of where our pricing is. We're very competitive and we're extremely less expensive than repointing or you know refacing the brick entirely, especially with sandblasting and chemical stripping too. Yeah, and and I guess I'm just putting my realtor hat on here, but obviously, okay, it's 30% more than your traditional painting, which doesn't seem like a lot considering the uh, product that you're going to receive on the other side. But clearly this is gonna raise the value of your home. And if you're in the selling market and you're raising the value of your home, that in of itself is gonna pay for it because obviously you're gonna sell it for more, which is gonna cover the cost uh, from a painting side. So I think final remarks to the audience. Well, I think that you, you hit the nail right on the head. In, in a lot of cases, our, our, our services end up paying for themselves based on the amount of equity or the amount of refinance, the uplift on that, the uptick on that, that you can get from actually using our services to improve the curb appeal and the overall saleability of your house. So that's one of the big ones. The, the other thing that I would leave you with in, in parting is that there's nobody else anywhere on the planet right now yeah. that does what we do. So we're based out of Ottawa. You can Google painting brick and you'll find a lot of the roll on and spray on folks, but you will not find anyone that provides that type of comprehensive solution that we do to make it look the way it originally did. Uh, so we're expanding that network out through the certified installers. We're training people in different crews all over the place. So there will be some availability in markets across North America as we start to build this thing out, but nobody else does this. So uh, I would say that we founded the industry. There's nobody else behind us at this point in time. We are the leaders and um, we would look really forward to working with people, but now's the time when we start taking our, our bookings. So if you're interested, in this get in touch with us as soon as possible and then we can start the process and consult with you and make sure that you'd be happy with the end product all right we're going to wrap up the video here thank you very much to my good friend matt woodworth the ceo at the brick painters thank you woody for taking a couple of minutes of your time to share with my audience what you're doing at the brick painters and how the brick painters can add value to anyone's home or anyone's commercial property as well not necessarily at a premium price. It is environmentally friendly and it really just does beautify the home and giving it that look that it once had before it was originally painted on prior to meeting your organization. So thank you very much, Woody, for that. Everyone else, it is worth considering checking out on a commercial side, go to the BIAs and see if there's a grant that you can apply for, like a facade grant that you can apply for to see if some of the cost to beautify your home would be covered from a BIA perspective. And if not the BIA, then check out the city of Ottawa as well. There are often these types of grants that will be provided to you, particularly if you're on a really common or high street in the city of Ottawa. So something to consider at that point. Thank you very much. In the next few weeks, I'm gonna take just a little bit more time going to offer a couple of more guests to come on to the show and we're going to look at potentially what to do on the inside of your home to add some of that appeal to add some value and to give you some tips and tricks as we walk through the spring selling season so until then i hope you appreciated this video until the next one take care